Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to do refresher for Python prior to moving further in this course. I have a detailed course available for Python and the name of the course is learn to code from scratch with Python 3. You can refer that if you want detailed information about Python 3. And this course is for absolute beginner who don't know about coding and he wants to learn about Python as well as coding. So to make everybody on the same page, I am going to take this session where we are going to discuss about following topics. We are going to discuss about basic data types, collection types, dictionaries, sets, tuples, functions and classes. As we are going to use frequently all these concepts frequently in data analysis. So it is pretty much required to understand all these topics. So let's open the Jupyter Notebook and we will start understanding each of these topics on Jupyter Notebook. So to start the Jupyter Notebook, you need to come to the Anaconda PowerShell and over here you need to specify Jupyter Notebook. Click enter. So it will open a Jupyter Notebook. So this has opened a Jupyter Notebook. I have already given the information about the Jupyter Notebook, what actually Jupyter Notebook is and what interpreter is running behind the scene. All these information I have given in one of the session. Those who are directly coming to this session, I wanted to give you information about the Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is one of the application where you will write and execute Python code locally in our web browser. The benefit of using Jupyter Notebook is it makes it very easy to tinker with code or say play with the code and execute the code in bits and pieces. And that is what we are going to do in this session. So to open a new notebook, you need to come here and click on new Python 3. So it will open a new notebook. We should specify a name over here. So currently it is showing untitled. We are going to rename it and we will tell that Python refresher. So rename it. So first thing we are going to learn about basic data type. So let's write it basic data type shift enter. Like most languages, Python has a number of basic data types which includes integer, floats, booleans and strings. These data types behave in a way that are familiar from the other programming language if you have gone through any programming language. So let's look into one by one. So first we will look into how to check the data type of any variable. Suppose that if you are having a variable x and if you are assigning some value and you want to check the data type of this particular variable. So how you can check it? You need to specify print function and then you need to use a function over here that is called type. And here you need to specify the variable name and when you press shift enter then it will return that what variable it is. So same way if you are assigning any of the variable over here like just copy this one paste it over here. If you are specifying 5.0 and here you can specify y and here you need to specify y shift enter then it will return float. So Python also support the complex number. So how you can create the complex number and assign into a variable. So suppose that if you are having a variable Z and to create a complex number, you need to specify complex and first one is the real part and then the imaginary part and then you need to print it. So let's print Z and let's check the type. So how we can check the type we need to specify over here type Z shift enter then you will see that it is a type of complex number. So this is about the variable. So you can assign whatever the value you will assign. If it is a decimal value, then it will return float. If it is an integer value, then it will return integer. Same way you can use the complex number. So now moving further, let's look into the operations. So operations it supports addition. To do addition, we are going to use plus operator. So let's do one by one. It is simple thing, but I want to give you a refresher over here. So here we can tell that X plus one for addition. Same way we can use minus operator. Then we will look into multiplication. So for multiplication, we use asterisk enter to perform the division. We are going to use the slash operator front slash. So X divided by three enter. So it will return this value. Now to calculate the exponential, we need to use double asterisk. 
so let's look into that for example if i want to calculate the exponential term of variable x to the power 3 then how we can do that we need to specify x double asterisk and to the power 3 shift enter then it will return the exponential value of the variable so now let's discuss about the boolean operators so let me give a heading there is a shortcut for providing the markdown you should press m so it will change to code from markdown if you want to get the code back you need to press y so you will get over here in this is representing that it is ready for accepting the code or whatever the code which you want to execute so in means input that means it is going to accept the input so i want to change it as a markdown i need to press i need to select outside if you select inside then see it has changed the color to green that means it is ready to accept the input but if you click outside then it changed the color to blue now you can press m so you will see here here it is changed to markdown so let's write a heading so what we are going to learn now we are going to learn boolean operator operator shift enter now in python as i already mentioned in one of my course you can use normal english word like and or say or as a boolean operator so let's look into that for example if we are having a variable t and there is a boolean value true and there is another val variable f that is for false and now i am going to check the type of these variables so first let's check the type of this variable so write print type t shift enter then you will find that it has returned boolean now suppose i want to apply the logical operator so how i can do that i can check print variable t and the and operator if i want to check the and condition and f then what is the output so let's look into that then you will see that here true and false is become false if we will provide print introduce some other variable over here m equal to true now let's check the condition t and m then it will return true because true and true become true so here it is throwing error because we need to execute it because it doesn't know what is m is and i have introduced just now so let's run it shift enter now again you will run this statement select this one shift enter then you will find that it has returned true so the intent to show this example simple example to introduce this and operator to you same way you can introduce same way there is or operator so you can use t or f shift enter then it will return true if any one of them is true then it the condition become true so now let's proceed further to make it not condition so you need to use the not operator for example if you are going to use to make this true condition as false so you need to specify the not operator and then you need to specify the condition that is our variable name t and shift enter then it you will see that the true become false so this way you can do the negation so now let's proceed further and we will look into strings in python so let's do it click outside press m and specify a heading strings in python shift enter so now let's create a string variable so you can type str1 and to create the string variable you need to either you can use single quotes or double quotes it doesn't matter so for example you can write here hello and for a string 2 you can specify str2 and double quotes this time i am going to use hello world and if you print both print str1 and str2 shift into then you will find that output wise there is no difference you can you can use any one of them the way you are checking the type of other data type you can check for a string data type as well so if you will write print and then type and over here you need to specify the name of the string shift enter then you will find that str now next if you want to calculate the length of the particular string then python offers us a method called len so you need to specify len and within that you need to specify the 
variable name shift into then it will return the length of the string within python string data type offers various methods which will be helpful to perform various operations on a string for example if you are having a this pascal casing and if you want to convert it into the capital casing so how you can do that you need to specify i will print it so i am going to write print and over here i need to specify str1 dot and you can start writing it and press tab then you will find that it offers us this capitalize so you need to select it let me zoom it so now you will see that once you press the tab then it will give you this option so you need to select this one tab enter now let's press shift enter so now press shift enter as it is a method so that the reason it is telling that you should use the parenthesis so here you need to use the parenthesis specify parenthesis shift enter then you will find that it returns the same output as we are having the hello as a capital case only sorry i mentioned that it is pascal casing so it is not a pascal casing pascal casing if you are writing that hello world then it become pascal casing so if you are removing this then it is become a capital casing so to demonstrate this example in a proper way so we can remove this capitalize there is another method which python offers for a string data type that is lower if you will specify lower then whatever we are having over here it is a capital casing then it will print the lower casing so shift into then you will find that it has changed to lower casing so same way we are having upper casing so you can specify upper shift into then you will find that it has changed to the upper so there are various methods available which i have discussed in my earlier course if you want to refer then it's good in python there are various methods available within string data type so how you can search for that so you need to write str1 and then dot and tab so it will give you all the information about all those methods which is available within string data type so you can try each one of them so and you can also get the help putting question mark over here shift into then you will find the information about method for example i have selected upper and then question mark so it is returning what this will do this method will do it return a copy of a string converted to uppercase so you can check for all those information by applying this syntax so you can do the same thing for other one as well dot for example if you want to check what is case fold select this one question mark shift enter so this way you can verify that what this method actually do for you so on this note i am stopping over here so this is our introduction for basic data type this is a refresher for basic data type in the next session we will look into refresher of collection types or say containers type so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care